Riot just hit Irelia with a pretty big set of adjustments as they call it, and it's funny since half the people say this is a really strong buff that will make people say better nerf Irelia again, while the other half say it's too much of a nerf. And it's really interesting when that happens, so let's see the changes. First for the nerfs, they reduced her AD per level growth a bit from 4 extra AD per level to 3.5 AD per level. Next up her ultimate reduced the cooldown of her Q, more at each rank, well it used to reduce Q's cooldown by 0.5 seconds at ult rank 1, 1.5 seconds at rank 2 and 2.5 seconds at rank 3. Now it just reduces it by 0.5, 1 and 1.5 seconds so she'll have a higher cooldown on her Q by 1 second at max level. But for the big change that should mostly be above the passive. So as you hit with abilities, you get a stack that increases your attack speed, stacking up to 4. This used to be 7.5% per stack going up to 20% per stack and it used to only increase at levels 7 and 13 going from 7.5% to 13.75% at level 7 and to 20% at level 13. Now it goes from 7.5% per stack to 25% per stack and it increases every level. So it's a linear increase instead of only going higher at levels 7 and 13. It increases at every level. So for example at level 6 instead of getting 7.5% attack speed per stack she will get 12.65% per stack. Only at levels 7 and 13 it is a little bit lower but it's not noticeable. But apart from those two levels, it's a really big buff for every other level. Especially for levels 14 to 18, when she will now have more than she ever had before. So at max level, with a full build, especially going with attack speed, like Blade of the Ruined King, she has quite a bit more attack speed than before, which should help. Riot said that those changes for Irelia, while looking like a nerf on paper, making her passive attack speed linearly scale with level, rather than being breakpointed, is a pretty decent buff. They're intending to make her more threatening on the wave, and that they moved her away from being strong in the early game over time, and that's weakened her identity. So overall, quite interesting changes, we'll see if this increases or decreases her win rate. But what do you think about the changes? Especially if you are a main, do you feel like those are mostly buffs or nerfs, and do you think it will make her stronger or weaker? And before I let you go, we got another giveaway time. As you've probably seen, I've done a lot of polls recently, and looks like a lot of you are trapped in your rank for a while and want to improve but don't know how even if you know where you need to improve. Or you just feel frustrated with how ranked is going and feel trapped. But trust me when I tell you that I have found a solution so you won't have to ever feel like that again. I partner up with Solo Q Solutions. They have been working for 3 years on this project which is a really good all-in-one guide to improve in Solo Q that helps you in every possible way. They have a video course created by several pro players covering every stage of the game in detail for every single role and every champion. It's made for low and high elo players, so no matter what you struggle with or what your current rank is, or what your main is, this will help you out. If you join, you'll also have access to weekly live Q&A sessions with pro players, group coaching sessions, VOD reviews of your replays, and one-on-one -on -one sessions. Still with pro players, not with cat girls unless they have pro player cat girls too. And to celebrate our partnership and the launch on the 14th, we're giving away 25 lifetime passes to my community. Even if you don't win, you also get a founder price drop from $35 to only $14 instead if you want to join. So either way, you're guaranteed a win. The link is in the description and the pinned comment. It just takes 5 seconds to join, so don't miss out and join right now. Leave a like or I'll eat your ice cream and thanks for watching. Meow.